You've given her the biggest Back. boob because you're a little boy. Yeah. Oh, you're a little boy. <laughs> oh, you're a little boy. You're oh. on her chest and you're looking up and you're like, babe, how many people have you slept with? Oh, oh you're a little boy. Why oh, she's stroking your hair? <laughs> okay, guys. Oh. Welcome back. It's SNG episode 129. Indeed it is. You tuned in to the second biggest podcast on planet Earth. Soon to be the first. Soon to be the top. And then off there, intergalactic. You know the vibes, man. Mm. It's, um, it's, what's the word I'm looking for? It's inevitable. Inevitable. It's inevitable. It's inevitable. <laughs> it's inevitable. Where's um, that from again? Team America. <laughs> It's inevitable. It's inevitable. <laughs> <laughs> Kim Jong Il, nah, bro. It's inevitable. Most racist flipping <laughs> film of all time. It's hilarious. Um, but yeah, guys, it's inevitable <laughs> that your boys are climbing to the top of the mountain. Yeah, man. Um, and it feels good, you know. It does. Feel um, great. Welcome to the new studio. Obviously, you probably can't tell. It's not even any different, but it feels different. It feels good. We're in. Um, Birmingham now. Yeah, man. She wants a man from Brum. Oh, oh, one, two, oh, one, one, two, one. You know, e tap. All them. <laughs> Gala get bang. Gala wow, get bang. Uni days. <laughs> bang. E tap. Gala get bang. <laughs> bang. Jesus. Come on. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. We're, we're part of the culture now. Man. <laughs> just trained over at. Just finishing the gym. Yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Ultimate Fitness. Yeah, on great gym. Yeah, it took care of us today. Yeah, Got a healthy pump. Mm. Um, so yeah, if you're thinking uh, James is going breasts out. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, healthy. 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 Fluid. Glycogen. <laughs> um, but yeah, man. Before we get into it, guys, obviously, do us a favor. If you're watching this on YouTube, big red subscribe button, flick that bean, head on over to the right, ring that bell. You know the vibes. You know the you know the drill. Um again, guys, chirps a ting in the comments. This time ladies try and chirps a ting in the comments as well, man. I've seen a few dudes trying to shoot their shot, they're yeah, not really yeah. getting much love in there. Yeah, ladies. Yeah. Hit, uh, it's a bumble thing. Mm, shoot your shot. Mm, shoot your shot. And Young yeah. bumble. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guys have to. Guys have to. Yeah, make to their you day. Now. Yeah, yeah, make man. their day. Um, and then, last but not least, guys, pause this. Head on over to patreon.com forward slash shits and gigs no if you want to get an extra episode every single week. If yeah, you want to enjoy some of the perks. If you want a cheeky discount on that merch. Uh, Young Fwigs is repping that um, today. And. Uh, Links in the description for all the merch, guys. And <laughs> the merch flies too quick sometimes. So it's, sometimes we don't even plug it because it's just like, what's the point? Because it's just it's disappointing for you, man. When you head over there, you're like, yeah, 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 I want this one. And and and, and the, there's the delays. They can't produce the garments fast enough. They can't. Sold out thing. And obviously, we're a... We're a progressive company. Yeah. Like, we don't... They, they're like, guys, 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 we need to employ some kids. <laughs> Because just to get this thing going faster, yeah, man, yeah, yeah, like the 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 execs at Apple are on our line. Like, guys, we heard you're in a bit of a pickle with production. Yeah. There's a couple Utes about. Do you want to take them? We're like, no, no, no we nah, don't play that. That's not us. That's not us. That's not us. We're yeah, not trying to get our fingers yeah. in those kind of pies. Yeah, we know? don't want that, man. We want to do it clean. Yeah, we want to do it green. Yeah. We want to do it clean. <laughs> yeah, man. So, um, guys, sometimes it does take a little bit longer to to get the threads together, but. Mm. These men are working as hard as they can. Yeah, man, bear with us. Bear with us. But obviously, hit the link. Go on over to the merch. It's the best merch you've ever seen, obviously. Obviously. It's the best merch you've ever seen. Obviously, obviously. let's get real with it. Yeah, man. So head on over, click that, grab some merch, and then snuggle up while you're watching that. Mm. Um, and then, obviously, guys, leave a review on the Spotify, you know. Subscribe so you make sure you get everything. Yeah, um, and that's enough plug-in from me. It's uh, over to your boy, Fire Lord Fwags. Fun fact, that's actually my um, PSN. Fire Lord Flakes. Fire Lord Flakes. That's sexy. <laughs> that's all we take to you say for that. Because I was going to put, Flakes. I was going to use Fuego, but Fuego is used. I was going to use mm. Flakes with three Zs. That was used. Two Zs. That was used. One Z. That was used. I was thinking, fuck, what can I, I do? What food had on there? It's boring. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, yeah, Fire, Fire Lord Flakes. Yeah, man. Come on. Yeah, man. Yeah, Let's man. go. Um, right. So today's fun fact of the day. Um, so after seeing a tennis star win forty thousand dollars, Richard Williams wrote a seventy-eight page plan on how his kids would dominate the sport. He wrote the plan before the birth of his daughters and began coaching them at age four. Forty years on, Serena and Venus Williams have won forty-four Grand Slam titles and earned themselves a combined one hundred and thirty-six million dollars. 
and you know, obviously, uh, not obviously, but there is a movie coming out about him, which is played by Will Smith. So Will Smith is going to be um, Ooh. Richard Williams. To be fair, he posted a video the other day mm. on his Instagram. And he was chilling with both of them. Mm. I didn't see the relevance. Yeah. But That's so fair. he's playing their dad. Yeah. So he he wrote what? A 78, wrote a 78 page? page plan on how his kid would how his kids would both dominate the sport before they were born. Wow. Was yeah. he a big boy tennis player? Do you know what? I've not read far into that, but I don't know. But I'd, I'd like to believe he was. Or he just saw the fat paycheck back in those days of 40k and thinking, I said, I knew, yum. Yo, yum, run me that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I'm too old for this now. So my kids, yeah, that's they can scoop your that. life's pattern now. Wow. But it must have been, it must have been long for them. It Bro, tennis is a them. brutal sport, man. Any sport's a brutal sport. True. If you're, if you're if you want to go top level, kids to do top level shit, any sport's a brutal sport, man. But yeah, that's that's gang because he made it. Or he made them make it. Yeah, bro. That's dedication. It is gang. It is gang. And the thing is as well, it's a sacrifice, bro. It is, man. Because kids want to have fun. Kids want to have fun. The when they're in the morning, 6 a.m., and they're mm. like, Dad, I just don't want to play fucking tennis today. Mm. I just don't want to. And I'm just like, I don't think I could do it, man. Mm. Sometimes I must be like, All right, you know what? Let's just chill. Let's have I was, a movie that's, day. I was, I was just about to ask you, how would you feel, obviously, if you were the pops and you saw potential? It could be anything, tennis, basketball, football, ice hockey, whatever, swimming, and you saw the potential gymnastics, whatever. You saw the potential in them and they're just dominating for their age in that sport. And you can tell, like, with, let's say you are a professional athlete in whichever given sport your child wants to do. Mm. And you could tell that you, they've got the gift. All they need is the practice and the consistency yeah yeah yeah. to yeah, persevere yeah. yeah 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 you've heard from other you've heard whispers in the gymnasium like, oh his daughter is that whose son is that he's, he's, he's fucking sick he's fucking good blah 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 blah. and you're thinking fuck i could take him or her to the next level how would you feel you said, i'm already a professional in this you you so you, you you did it in your past yeah, yeah let's yeah. say let's use boxing for example because okay. you boxed before in the yeah, past okay. right? yeah okay yeah, yeah and your son or daughter is you can tell like she's got the she's got the moves, you know, or he's got the moves, you know. I was gonna say if it's a daughter, no. Okay, let's say let's go, let's use son. He's got the moves, right? And you he's agile, he's everything. He goes into the gym, you see him, he's quick, fast twitch muscle, and you're like, fuck. I could tweak him to be the next best thing. But you know, because you know the toll it's had on you, mm. and what you, obviously it's not something that you've um you continued or pursued in your real day to day life, but in let's say hypothetically, you did, right? Would you then want to put your kid through that, knowing what it could mentally and physically do for them or to them? And would you want them to follow in your footsteps? Interesting. Um, that's not one of my questions, by the way. That's fine. It's just a spiral. Um, I think. Ravenous. Your boy's hunky. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, boy's hungry. Um, hungry. I think if you would have asked me a few years ago, mm. I probably would have been, I probably would have said, yeah, I'd really, I wouldn't want to, but I'd probably end up pushing them mm -hmm. to stick with it and to mm -hmm. be the best. Mm -hmm. But now, considering how my life has changed over the last few years, I probably wouldn't because... Mainly because when I was a kid, I was a thousand percent certain that I was going to be a professional athlete mm -hmm. yeah. in some shape, way, shape or form. A thousand percent certain that yeah. I was going to be a professional athlete. Mm. And obviously that never happened. Before you continue, do you think that didn't happen because you didn't have the... the Talent or the support? No, no, not the talent, the support. The support. Uh, in some aspects, mm -hmm. definitely if I had more people in my corner pushing me to do it, I would have stuck with it. That's my point. That's the point I'm trying to get because obviously I, this question is hypothetical, not your current day to day life. I know. Okay. But what I'm saying is, mm. is I have in my adult life, mm. I have no regrets whatsoever. Okay. Support or no support. Okay. okay. I have no regrets whatsoever in thinking like, for example, if you take boxing, for example, mm -hmm. if you're hearing about like, I don't know, Andy Joshua has got like 20 million a fight and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Never, ever does it cross my mind mm -hmm. thinking, fuck, that could have been me. I wonder if I stuck it out if mm -hmm. that ever could have, never, mm -hmm. literally never. Mm -hmm. um, and right now I have like, I have more fun doing this with you, making 0.1% of what he makes mm -hmm. um, than getting your face bashed in. Getting my fucking brain smashed to pieces. Mm -hmm. Like it's just, nah, like I never, 
I, ne- I ne- don't ever regret it. And I know how passionate I was about it when I was a kid. Mm-hmm. So if if I saw that my son or daughter or whatever had serious talent in a sport, obviously I would try and encourage them and I would mm-hmm. give them way more support than I think they'd ever need. And I would, I would encourage them to stick things out to a certain degree. Mm-hmm. And I would push them when they need to be pushed. So like, for example, if they're... So this is a perfect example. Let's say they do... Um, let's say they do tennis mm-hmm. and they're in a group with their friends and all of a sudden they're excelling. So they get moved into this advanced group. Mm-hmm. None of their friends are there. Mm. And they're like, you know, fuck this. I don't really, mm. if, my, if, my, if my friends aren't, if my boys aren't there, I don't want to do it. Mm. That's when I'd push them and be like, just try it. Mm. You'll make new friends. Mm. Just it, like, try this, man. Come mm. on, give it a month. If you mm. still don't want to do it after a month and you just want to go back to doing your friends, then do that. Mm. Um, and then that's the times when I push them. But if they're really literally there, they wake up in the morning and they're like, oh, it's just a fucking chore. Mm. Like, I don't want to be this because fun, it's all about fun. Mm-hmm. People like, and especially when it comes to sport, like as soon as you love, you lose the fun out of it. You're plateauing. You're you're going to hit a ceiling in terms of how far you're going to go. Mm-hmm. If you enjoy it, you can become great. Mm-hmm. If you don't enjoy it, then I, in my opinion, there's always going to be a limit. Mm-hmm. But I would always encourage them to stay in sport because there's a lot of um, there's a lot of science backed behind, like um, especially in younger children, that the more like the highest level of athletes, a lot of them were never stuck to one specific sport. Mm -hmm. So like Roger Federer, for example, Mm -hmm. he did bare shit, Mm -hmm. bare shit alongside tennis. Mm -hmm. He did loads of stuff. And they said- Before he was a professional tennis player. Before he was was a kid, Mm -hmm. he would play everything. Mm -hmm. He wouldn't just play tennis. Mm -hmm. Uh, And they say like a lot of times, if if your kid excels in one sport, the worst thing you can do is keep him only playing that sport. Mm-hmm. You should encourage them to do all sorts of shit. So that's probably the thing I would take. Like, for example, like I said, if, they were, if I saw that they were super talented in boxing, then one day they were just like, oh, I just don't want to do boxing anymore. I wouldn't be like, all right, cool, let's pack in boxing. I'll be like, all right, that's, that's fine. If you're not enjoying it, then you're not enjoying it. Um, let's try something else. Mm-hmm. Let's go play something else. And I would always want to keep them in sport for as long as I possibly could. Mm-hmm. Uh, and if they're just not about sport, then they're just not about sport. But I think... If they enjoy sport, they'll always enjoy sport. Mm. A lot of the time they'll say that people who don't enjoy, like people who in older life don't like going to the gym, don't like like trying sport is because they really didn't enjoy it as a kid. Mm -hmm. And they weren't ever encouraged enough to find a sport or something that they enjoyed. Mm -hmm. So later on in life, they just, they avoided anything that's physical. So I'd always want to keep my kid in sport. And then in the hope that they might come back round to it and want to do it again. Mm -hmm. Um, if they were really good. But again, boxing is an iffy one for me because boxing is fucking dangerous. Yeah, I know. The only reason I use boxing is because Yeah, because of me. Boxing. Yeah, I know. But yeah, boxing is definitely an iffy one. Mm. But yeah, stuff like tennis, if I thought like, man, like it might take a lot of training, but fuck me, you could like, especially, and the thing is, it sounds silly, but money is a big aspect. Mm-hmm. Like for example, athletics. Mm-hmm. They could be amazing at athletics, but there's fuck all money in athletics. Mm. So if they In said, comparison. In comparison. Mm. But yeah, I would be like, if they were like, amazing athletics and then we're like this is shit Mm. i probably wouldn't push them as hard to stay with it rather than if it was like tennis Mm. or football Mm. or something that in this country you can make a serious amount of money if Mm. you're really really good then i'd probably be like "Ah, maybe stick it out for a little bit longer Mm. um it's a tough question bro it's really don't know because with kids man it's just like they're your heart and the last thing you want to do is force them to do something that they don't want to do yeah uh, and I struggle when I watch like there's TV shows where the ki- the the parents are literally living through their kid. Mm-hmm. It's just like the fuck you doing, man. Mm. The fuck you doing? Um, and like that's the thing. I wish I think definitely I would have stuck out at certain things more if I had more support. But then again, a lot of the reasons why I I didn't stick things out is like I said in terms of like a friendship thing. The reason I quit boxing when I did is because you and Aaron weren't boxers. Mm. And it was like, <clears throat> well, Jabra and them, man, obviously they're my boys, mm. but they were talking about getting up to do 5 a.m. runs and all mm. this stuff. And I'm just like, ugh, mm. I can't bother. And mm. tournament here and tournament there. And I was just like, oh, fuck this, man. I just want to go gym with you, man. Mm. I don't want to do all this shit. I just want to chill with my boys. Mm. I want to go out and like drink and have fun. Um, and that is one of the main reasons why I quit boxing. Mm. Okay. Um, and even before that, 
I was I was kind of losing love for it because all of it it was more of a even though I wasn't getting paid it was actually more turning more into a job. Okay. Even before uni, <clears throat> transitioning from like college to uni times, yeah, yeah. 17, 18, mm. going into like adult divisions and stuff mm. like that. It was becoming more of a job and it was more about like I need to make sure I'm fit enough. I need to make sure I'm hitting this weight because when you're a kid you're just that weight anyway. Yeah. You don't put or lose weight. You mm. just that weight. But when you're t- getting older I need to lose weight and then you man all going out and fucking going gym and getting bigger and eating all this food trying to get bigger mm. and i'm just like talking to my coach and he's like oh if you want to make this tournament like do you think you can get down to like 67 kilos and all this stuff and i'm just like <sighs> this is shit mm. this is fucking shit mm. but if coincidentally you and aaron were like diehard boxers mm. And then you were motivated by all this stuff and we would all be doing it together, mm, it living together, yeah. eating the same food. I would have been gassed. Yeah, yeah, of course. I would have been gassed. Of course. I would have yeah. been so excited, bro. Yeah, yeah, I would have yeah. been so excited to fight and all of us go to these tournaments and yeah. see how we get on. I'll be so excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would have stuck it out a lot longer. Mm. Maybe I would have gone professional after that. Mm. But it was in that transition point where like, if my boys ain't doing it, I'm not doing it. Mm. Um, and like I said, I have no regrets. That's going, bro. No regrets. Mm. Because look, here I am. I and you. all these like, for example, like you get all these professional athletes and they'll be like, they could, for example, like I'm sure Serena Venus Williams would probably say stuff along the lines of like, I'm so glad our dad like never let us quit. I'm mm-hmm. so glad our dad was pushed us as much as he did because it look where we are now. But it's like, yeah, but if you quit tennis, you have never, you never know what could have been. What could have been. Yeah. And when you do realize your potential in a different field, who's to say that you wouldn't look back and be like, <coughs> I'm glad our dad didn't force us to stay in tennis because mm. look where I am now. Mm. I have no regrets about quitting tennis. Mm. Tennis is cool. But yeah, it's like when you don't know what the other the other side is like, yeah. it's easy to be like, I'm happy I stuck with I'm this. I'm happy I stuck yeah, with yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fair enough, man. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know, man. I probably wouldn't push him. Mm. What would you, what'd you do? Um, it's tough because if I've seen dedication in any form of sport... I necessarily wouldn't push them because at the end of the day, the kid is coming home to me yeah. and I wouldn't want to be the one to go out there, push them for them to come home and then resent me. Oh, you know? 100%. Because all, I know for a fact, if I was Serena, if I was, um, what's his name again? Um, that's rude of me. Richard. If I was Richard, um, Serena and Venus's pops. And I did a quote unquote 78 page plan for their life. I'm obviously going to always be out there training and um, training things. I'm going to be at everything. I'm going to be at everything they do, but they're always they're also coming home to me. So when they're coming home to me, all we're going to be discussing is tennis. Yeah, yeah we're not yeah, going to be discussing anything else about their life. Yeah, 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 and I would, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to see in their faces that this isn't this is just not what a child should be doing. You yeah, know? I know. What you mean. I would, I would be more inclined to push them in a sense that, okay, I can get you a trainer, I can get you this, I can get you that. If I can afford it, I can get you this, 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 and this. And then you fuck off and practice with him or her. If you aren't fancying it anymore, we can come home back and we can th- look at something else. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. I would never want to be the one that pushes them to that extent. Oh, bro. I would support them, but I wouldn't want to push them, especially I wouldn't want to be that kind of coach or whatever. Exactly, man. Because I imagine like, for example, like tennis, mm. These he would have woken up with them Mm. he would have been there on the days with her dad I don't want to I don't want mm. to and then he would have been there whilst they're slugging it out for mm. eight hours a day and he would have had to been the one like bandaging their blistered hands and mm. they're crying when mm. they're little girls and they're blistered feet mm. and they're like fucking why do we have to do this mm. he's the one that has to like deal with all of that like mm. he said like he has to be out there he has to be the one at home forcing them to get out and then he's also the one that's out there and he has to be the one to take care of them when they're battered and bruised and crying, mm-hmm. knowing that this morning they were begging me not to send them out there. Mm. And I did it anyway. And now look at the state they're in. I physically couldn't deal with that. Yeah. I'm, I'm tearing up. I physically couldn't deal with that. <laughs> yeah. I physically could yeah. not deal with that. Yeah. Literally, I'll be like, we're not doing this anymore. Mm. 100% we're not doing this anymore. Mm. Fuck this. Like, I wouldn't be able to put my kid through that. Yeah, yeah. In the hope that exactly, this 78 exactly. pl- page plan weren't full Works of shit. Out, yeah. <laughs> How do you even pla- how do you even write that? Fuck knows, bro. He I must mean, have been a fucking tennis genius. Yeah, I'm intrigued to watch the movie in, no, after reading that 78 page plan thing because I'm assuming, like you said, because you asked me, was he involved in tennis? Mm. Or I'm assuming he is. I'm a, he, oh, was, he must rather. have been. He must have been. He can't have just been uh, some spectator. Yeah, yeah. So, fuck yeah, that's hell. um, that's a tough one to put in your kids. But then again, like you said, fork in the road, 
they chose the tennis side or whichever athlete chose the sports side, we don't know what the other side could have held for them. So it's um it's 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 tough, but it's also it is what it is. One life, isn't it? You don't even know what you could, Bro, what could be. Bro, yeah, man. One life. What it is what it is. It um, is, what it is. What's your thought on this Facebook thing? The funny thing, I was, I was reading into that or I was trying to read into that on the way to the studio today. And I heard about, it, I think maybe two days ago or yesterday, I can't remember. All I know is that it's meta. And all I know is that I think it's something to do like transporting something to something. And that's all I know. I've not read into it. Okay, so, cool. I'm intrigued because I literally have got I've got it open on my phone. Yeah, so yeah, I was yeah. gonna read it before we even started anything. Today. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So basically, they want to create obviously the metaverse. Mm-hmm. So the better, but you've you've seen Ready Player One, haven't you? Yes, it's basically Ready Player One. Okay, it's basically Ready Player One. So uh, it makes yes, I've read a little bit about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so he wants it yeah, to be yeah, like yeah, an immersive yeah. virtual reality plus like augmented reality, basically universe mm. in which. Eventually, will run our Have entire economy. One insult, <laughs> fam. You, a lot of people ain't seen it. That's, just we literally in had the face. this conversation. I had this conversation with Flo yesterday, and mm. she ain't seen it. I've seen it like three, four times. I've seen it bare times. Great movie, amazing. Anyway, continue. anyway, but yeah, he basically wants to set up a system in which people can do like normal activities, like meetings like mm. virtual meetings and fucking social like going out to have like a fucking drink like fake drinks in mm. this universe but also gaming gaming is going to be the first transition but like um instead of having having separate games you have separate games but you will always be the same avatar mm. just like a ready player mm-hmm. one like you'll just play this game you'll be playing fortnite and you will be the character mm. and then you will decide i want to play fortnite anymore I want to go play Call of Duty. You're going to be the same guy. Mm. Um, so you want to basically create this Ready Player One like universe in which it's basically going to run our entire economy in terms of you will be able to earn money from this. Mm. And it's just going to, everything will slowly start. And obviously you'll be using cryptocurrencies mm. and all this shit. And you'll probably have people that are really good at making shit. So they'll mm. be on there in their own little marketplace and you'll go and you'll go to like, it's open marketplace where all these avatars will be and you go to all these different shops and people selling NFTs and mm. fucking someone's created this sick gun that you can use in these three different games mm, and it's going to mm, cost mm. you this much and if you want to earn this fucking Ethereum, you need to go onto these like battle royales and you earn currency from playing these games and eventually people will be on these fucking games 9, 10, 11 hours a day just trying to make a living mm. and then at the end of the day you cash in your fucking coins that you earned from the games and they'll work as real money and then you'll that's how you'll live your life oh so it's it's um kind of replicated into the real world so the money you earn from the meta would i don't know if that's what he said in the plan but that's just how these things will go because you'll be you because it just makes sense because you'll be you're going to be using cryptocurrency yeah 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 and you can use cryptocurrency now Now, a lot of pieces will accept crypto now Mm. in real life Mm. so if you're earning it in your gaming world, you should be able to. Man, you should. It will go into your crypto account, yeah. and you can use that crypto account for whatever. Yeah, I think this whole VR thing is is insane. Purely because I think I just think it's going to have such a negative impact on people's mental health. Oh yeah, like I. It's, as cool as it, sorry to interrupt. No, it's minor, bro. As cool as it sounds, mm. don't get me wrong, I'm not gassed by it mm. because I literally think it's the biggest red flag of all time. Oh, 100 percent. I, I literally think, it think it's the biggest red flag of all time. Like, it's gonna stop social. I also have a theory. Once you finish saying your mm-hmm. piece, I have a theory as well. Mm-hmm. But like, um, yeah, I, I think it's the worst thing that could possibly happen. As fucking sick as I think it would be mm. in terms of the gaming front, mm. I don't give a fuck about the rest of the shit. Mm. I want to do everything as a normal person mm. for the rest of the shit. Mm. But as far as the gaming shit, mm. that's cool as fuck to me. Don't get me wrong. That is very fucking cool. Like um, when, yeah. As soon as you said Ready Player One, I automatically knew what you were talking about. Yeah, you know? yeah, so yeah, yeah. It is very fucking cool. But I just think people are going to lose sight of reality. You know? A million they, percent. Well, I, I don't think I know for a fact. People are going to lose sight of reality. They do already. Exactly. They're going to... Exactly. They do already. As bad as social media is for certain people or certain amounts of people, if it patterns out into a virtual realm or virtual reality people are just going to forget where they really are 
they're going to literally live their life for the VR version of themselves or their, their avatar and not really give a fuck about anything else. They're going to get lost in that. They're probably going to die, die playing this thing. 100%. You know, I think it's going to cause a lot more casualties than it is for happiness or like whichever balance they're trying. Oh, to... bro. It's just going to be an anxiety fueled. It is. Hellhole. It is. And it's also going to be one of those ones where. Is it, is it a case of, I'm assuming it's something you're going to have to pay for. Oh, of course. And it's going to be something that's not going to be cheap, mm. in my opinion. Of course. It's not, it doesn't sound cheap. <laughs> like in, in Ready Player One, these men breaking their backs to, to actually just get the whole thing. The new shit. The yeah. new shit. People are breaking their backs to get it, you know? They're living in fucking boxes just to play the game. To yeah, live, everyone's live living in the favelas. You know what I mean? So I, I just don't think it's, um, I think a long story short or... What's the word I'm looking? Not long story short. Um, long term, it's it's gonna have such a negative negative effect on the world. Yeah, definitely. Um, I think it's a terrible thing. I think it's so cool, but I also think it's a terrible mm. thing. There and, are uh, many cool factors about it, of course. Sorry to cut you off again. There are many cool factors about it, but I just think long term, it's just not it's not viable, man. Nah, it's, it's dead. But um, I can see like. It's almost like you can just, it's the next logical step. I was literally just about to say that. It's the next thing. Yeah, yeah, Because yeah. the world doesn't go backwards. Because, Time yeah, doesn't yeah, go we backwards. We can't go back. We That's can't the thing as well. Back. Until everything implodes, mm. we can't go back. Yeah. And um, basically what my theory is, is I actually think this is the next evolutionary step mm. in terms of like um, gender interpretations. Explain. So you, obviously we live in a world now I think I know what you're trying to say, but good where like the the I don't even know the I, I, I struggle for the words for it, but basically just like the trans community community yeah is such a prominent discussion mm-hmm. at the minute, mm-hmm. and then people like identifying themselves as trans in any way, shape, or form. I've got a question to ask you. Remind me after that cool. about trans is all. Um, it's so prominent right now mm-hmm. and there's so much discussion about gender mm-hmm. and some people are like gender fluid. Some people are this, some people are that. There's, there's fucking 148,000 different genders or whatever. And then people are always discussing, oh, are you a real woman? Are you a real man? Is mm-hmm. this, uh, is this class is this? What toilet should they use? Da, da, mm-hmm. da, da. Like are you transphobic if you won't sleep with like a, a, a trans um, woman, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Mm-hmm. And um, in the metaverse, mm-hmm. All of those questions go away. Go away. You are who you decide to be. Mm. And then people will just stop meeting in real life. And if I'm fucking a ting in the metaverse mm. and she's banging mm. and she's got nine tits mm. and we have a great time, <laughs> yeah. it could be a brer. Mm. On the other side of that headset, mm. it could be a massive disgraceful brer. Mm. But we don't ask any questions here mm. in meta. We just do what we're we, here yeah, to do. We do, what we do. But I see what my eyes see, yeah. and my tool feels what my tool <laughs> feels, <laughs> and that's just how we play. Yeah. And I don't ask any questions. They don't ask me any questions. Yeah. We don't ever use our real names. We don't yeah. ever show our real faces, mm. and then we just do our thing. Mm. And that, to me, is the next evolutionary step in terms of all of the gender discussions. Put to bed. Put to bed. Yeah. Put to bed. Yeah. And whatever identity, and not even just gender, but just identity in general. Yeah, 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 yeah. You throw yeah, yourself yeah. in the metaverse, you yeah. could be whoever you want to be, Race, and there's no color, point creed, people whatever. asking yeah, questions. Yeah, yeah, there's yeah, no yeah. point people saying, yeah, but you're a guy and you're fucking avatars a girl. Then no one knows who you are. Yeah. Just fucking go out and have fun. Mm. That's that's what scares me in terms of it being the next evolutionary step, mm. logically, mm-hmm. because it's like, we're in this such a weird, confusing time at the minute where no one knows what to say. No one knows who they are. la di da di da Everyone wants to be someone else. Fucking filters are scary good. Yeah. Filters are scary. No, yeah, it looks like she should. Yeah. Filters are terrifyingly yeah. good. Like makeup tutorials are terrifyingly good. Yeah. The next step that just stops all of this confusion mm is Zuckerberg's metaverse mm. where you be who you want to be in there. Mm. It's literally this whole thing where everyone's like, where does this end? Mm. Like, where does this end? Everyone's getting cancelled because they're saying the wrong shit. Mm. Everyone's saying this, like the trans community fucking hates everyone. Like LGBTQ fucking ABC community hates everyone for this. Mm. Like everyone's confused. Everyone's scared. Da, 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 da. And then Mark Zuckerberg comes out on a fucking Wednesday afternoon and says, well, by the way, guys, we're creating this thing mm. and you can go in there and you can be who you want. Mm. And you can basically live your whole life on there. And everyone's like, Ah, oh, well, that problem solved. Problem solved. Yeah, like we don't have to have a discussion anymore. Mm. It's done. And then you're like, 
In terms of what you said, like, you can never go back. Yeah. And then females will never have to use a filter again. You got one look and you can change your look whenever you want. Yeah. And then guys won't have to go gym anymore. I still will, but <laughs> um, guys won't have to go gym anymore. Like, you can do what you want. You can look how you want. You add how you want. You have whatever job you want. And it's just like, shit. It has to, it, as much as it's scary as it is, there's no way it won't happen. Because it resolves it's, it so is the, many it is the next step. sociological issues. Yeah, it is the next step. It's crazy. Yeah, it sucks. There has to be a, a huge form of an, anonym, anonymity. I can't get the word up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but the question I was going to ask you, not the this is related to what we were talking about. I've got another question, but the, this question related to this um, trans transgender topic. I was at work the other day, and there was a. I'm assuming I'm assuming a transgender man to a woman, and she. It was me and two other colleagues on the reception desk, and my colleagues were they're women. They're women, so I was asking them, "How would you feel?" This was just gen genuine, a genuine general question. I didn't ask them this question because I wanted to prompt an answer. I was just, you know, curious because she went into the guys' toilets and not the girls' toilets. And we could see the toilets from where we stood. So I, was ask I asked them as ladies, if you were in the toilets and you saw a transgender man or woman go into the ladies' toilets, how would you feel? They both said they'd be calm, it'd feel safe, blah, 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 yada, yada, yada. I was like, okay, if the roles were reversed, and you were, um, and a transgender guy um, to a woman went into the men, um, women's toilets, how would you feel? And they said, they'd be a bit standoffish. And I said, why? He said, because as as women, they, they it's a double standard kind of thing. They said they wouldn't know how to feel. But because... So the one that's that offish, this is someone who is biologically a woman. So no, biologically, bio, 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 I can't get my words out today. So biological man, trans, trans gender woman, transgender woman. Now using the women's toilets. Now using the women's toilets. They're standoffish. No, no, no. They said they would be okay with it. That's what I thought you said. Yeah, they said they'd be okay with it. And I said, what if a biological woman who's now a transgender man mm -hmm. went to the women's toilets? Mm -hmm. How they're standoffish. They said they'll be standoffish. And I said, but if they identify that, what, what's the problem? Because they said with the woman, with transgender man to woman, they said, if they identify as that, then why is that a problem? Then yeah. I get, obviously flipped the, did a reverse Uno on them. And they said, I get what you're saying, but I would also, it is what they decide to do, but I'd be a bit standoffish. And I was like, why? Because um, they said something along the lines of, not necessarily feel threatened or whatever, but because of the fact that stature wise, they can see that this person is much more bigger than them and this, that, and the other. And we were talking about um, unisex toilets and things. Like, how would you feel if, um, how would you feel if you were in, in, a, in a venue that just had unisex toilets? Because they were talking about a, a spot in Manny that has unisex toilets. And they said, ah, oh, they'd want, they wouldn't want a transgender, whichever, whichever side you're going to from man to woman or woman to man, to be in the same place as a as a regular person in the unisex toilets. And I was like, why? And he said, because they just, they don't know whether they'll feel safe or not. And I was like, okay, but then you're, you've kind of got double standards here. Do you not think? But he also raised the question, then we got onto another, completely another random point about if a, if a man has a little girl, like a daughter, and he, he's either a single parent or he's only out with a daughter for the day. And the daughter wants to go toilet. What toilet does she go into? And they both said uh, to the men's toilet. I was like, why though? If it's a little girl that wants to go to the toilet, surely she should be able to go to the, the man should be able to escort her, escort into, her into the toilet. And the women in the toilet should understand that thing. Man, this is my little girl. What else can I do? Yeah. You know? um, and they were like, that's a bit sticky. But I was like, it's the same thing as a, <laughs> a man, trans, trans, um, trans woman going into the woman's toilet. You said you'd be okay with that. Mm, 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 so mm. what's the difference here? You know? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a weird conversation because it, <sighs> it, it came, it came up because obviously I saw 
I'm assuming a transgender man to woman it, dining in a restaurant and then I saw them go into the men's toilets. Yeah, so we yeah. had this open discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then it got into the kids one. I was yeah, thinking, yeah, yeah. what's what's the difference here? Interesting. But, you know, it was bro. it was it was interesting for about five minutes and then we just moved on to yeah, something of course, else. Yeah. yeah. There's only so far you can go yeah, with it's only so far you can, Yeah, in those conversations. Yeah, that's an interesting it got topic. Them thinking. Man. Um I personally I mean obviously I'm I have the privilege of not being a woman mm. and not have to worry about whether I feel safe or not. Yeah. So I personally don't give a fuck who uses what toilet. Mm. Um, and that's the thing as well, was like, it would be nice if I could, if I was with like my daughter or whatever, it would be nice if I could take her into the the women's toilets. Mm. Obviously I know that's a no go, mm. but bringing a little girl into a men's toilets, I, I think maybe it would have been nice yeah, I feel like maybe if a, a your everyday woman could actually see a man's toilets, mm. they might feel not so against. Yeah, because like as unsafe as you feel, me coming into your toilet mm. with like my daughter, you have no idea how unsafe this little girl feels yeah. going in a man's toilet. Is the scariest yeah. place. I'm a grown ass man, yeah, yeah. and I don't even like going in the man's <laughs> toilet. It's the scariest place yeah. you can think of. Yeah. Um. So yeah, maybe if uh, women spent more time in a men's toilet, <laughs> they wouldn't feel so bad about a guy coming in with his daughter in the, in a women's toilet. Because fuck me, man's toilet's no good place to it's be. It's not, man. It's weird. Um, it is weird, but like, yeah, I don't personally don't give a fuck. And like, again, realistically, like uh, there's certain restaurants and stuff like ZZ's. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure ZZ's just have individual cubicles. Okay. Toilet. They just have toilet, mm -hmm. and they might actually have split it. This is a man one, this is a woman one, this is a man one, this is a woman. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't fucking matter. They've got that in Alchemist as well. Yeah. Yeah. So there's just massive, like, individual cubicles. Individual man, cubicles. Woman, there's man, no yeah, yeah. toilet yeah, area. Yeah, 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 yeah. You just, it's a hallway. Yeah. There's a sink in there, there's a toilet in there. Yeah. Like, bang, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. that's what it should just be. Mm. Just fucking, who gives a shit, man? Like, who gives a shit? And mm. also, an interesting one is also uh, 20 Stories. Yes. That has yes, separate yes, sections, yes, yes, but yes, the yes. washing area it's is like all one neutral. bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so yeah, it's, it's fucking, like it's a hor it's weird conversation. Mm. And then when you get down to it, like you said, you spoke about five minutes and then you just went, fuck it. Mm. It's one of them ones just like, Ugh, I don't, I don't, I don't want to have this conversation. Mm. It's just such a stupid conversation, mm. but everyone has their opinion on the conversation. Of course, of course. It's stupid, but yeah, uh, the whole, that's what I'm saying. The metaverse is going to take over everything, bro. Because the whole mm. thing is just so confusing. No one knows what to say. No one wants to do. Some people think everyone deserves this. And then some people think everything deserves that. And then people get like chastised for saying how they truly feel. Mm. And then people pretend like they don't understand how that person can feel that way mm. because they don't want to get cancelled themselves. Mm. And it's just like, it's so long, bro. It's turning into one big Black Mirror episode. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah. It's yeah, turning yeah. into one big Black, Black Mirror. Mirror episode, bro. What it's so long. Um, right, I'm gonna shift the question completely left. Okay, and we have like a small fan request. Okay, cool. Right, <clears throat> so man said, "Hello, big time fan, long time listener to the pod. Uh, can you do something on body count?" So a few of my friends needed to know how to address it, mm -hmm. especially the typical answer that all females give of three as a baseline on I their think body I've count. Read this when it came in. So I said we'll have a chat about it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let you go first. So is that all, that all he said? So all he said, he just wants to know what I'm for um, body count. But he, he was female specific, right? Female specific. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. On a female's body yeah. count. Um, Bro, in this day and age, I don't ask. I don't think I've ever asked a girl what their body count is. Because one, I don't care. But if I ask and they give me an answer, then I think I will start to care. Because... It's just something that you now know. It's information that information you weren't privy to before. You don't necessarily start to speculate about. So if a girl, let's say it's a girl. Out of I'm sight, seeing, out of mind. Exactly. If there's a girl I'm seeing and she's told me uh, her body count's 20, for example. I, I start to think, I start to calculate things in my head for no reason. How old is she? When did, when did she lose her virginity? <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah. all these stupid things yeah, that are irrelevant. Yeah, 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 you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't care what your body count is. Yeah, yeah. If you love sex, big man, you love sex. Yeah. I love sex. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So what? Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Know? So I personally don't really care what a woman's body count is. Uh, we've said it in um, in um, some of the questions and answers we do on um, on Instagram. Like People talk about body count. We said, ladies, if you love sex, 
do your thing. We, I don't care. I'm pretty sure you feel the same way. Bro, I just don't care. I've got one sentence for mm. my man. Mm. Thank you so much for the message, bro. And for like, for you and your friends, the best way, in my opinion, to think about it is, is if you care about a woman's body count, you're a bitch, bro. <laughs> you're a bitch. I just don't You're care. a bitch, Who bro. Who cares? Who cares? You're an absolute pussy. He must be young, I'm assuming. I'm assuming he don't look 18. young. No. He don't look young. Hmm. Even if that's the thing, it's such a young question to it ask. But even if you question. are young, bro, if you're even if you're 14, if you're ever contemplating asking a girl what a body count is, don't. you are a bitch. Just don't do it, man. Bro, have a look at yourself in the mirror and say, do I want to be a bitch for the rest of my life? Yes or no? If the answer is yes, go ahead and ask her. <laughs> and if the answer is no, just move on with your life. It literally, it has no relevance. It has no relevance. If you think a girl's paying and you want a banger, what's... Her telling you her body count going to change. Yeah. What's that going to change? And then he was talking about in terms of uh, three is the general answer that mm. they give. First of all, I don't know what the general answer is because mm. I've never asked. Mm. And I don't want to know. Mm. And it's like, uh, oh, how do we navigate through? Like, all they want to say is three. Like, how do we get to the truth? Says, what the fuck is Why? this? Leave what, them out of If it. you get to the truth, what have you gained? What benefit is you? What, what have you gained? There's no good answer. There is no We've good We've definitely answer. had this conversation before. There's literally oh, yeah, no yeah, good yeah, answer. Yeah, if she is. tells you one, right? for starters, you're either going to think she's lying. Well, she is lying. Yeah, True. <laughs> Or who's this one, fam? Yeah. Why am I the second yeah, one? Yeah. Why am I the second yeah. one? Do I, even, do I even want to be number two? That's a lot of pressure. That is a lot of pressure. If she says none, definitely I don't want to know. Yeah, exactly. Um, if she says 20, for example, like, yeah, like you said, I'm starting to think shit. Deep down, do I even give a fuck if it's 100? No. Mm. But now that I've asked, I have to then process the answer in my head. Yeah. You have to deal with that. Yeah. You know, you every time you bang it. her, you know you're number 101. Yeah. 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 Every time you bang her. And it's just like, I didn't care, but now I know I kind of have to care. And it's like, um, it's like, it's random, but like, it's, it's like if I'm at a dinner table and I order steak and then some, some fucking whoever I'm with is like, is this steak locally sourced? Do I give a fuck if it's locally Red sourced? Drin? No, I don't give a Red shit. Drin? But if they answer, say, nah, it's not locally sourced. Mm. Automatically I'm thinking, mm. what does that mean? <laughs> Where does it come from then? I don't care. But because I've got that answer, yeah. my brain's doing shit mm, mm. that I have no control over. <laughs> and then I'm thinking, now I want to ask him how unlocally yeah. sourced is this from? Where is it from, fam? Big is it from Great Britain? <laughs> is it from Germany? Is it even a cow? Fam, yeah. <laughs> is it even actually cow? Like, I've got all these questions that I never gave a fuck about before, but now I've got an answer. My brain has to do something with the information. And now I'm curious. And now I'm vexed because I want to know. Mm. I never would. I never wanted to know before. Ah, oh, yeah, man. Yeah, we man, don't yeah, care if the yeah, pussy's yeah. locally sourced, yeah. my G. <laughs> Enjoy the time that you're in there. Exactly, man. Enjoy the medium rare white last, fam. Yeah, just know that if she's peng, her DMs blow up, and it's up to her what she's done with it. Exactly, bro. It's not your concern. It's not your concern, bro. Is. Just play your role, man. Who, if you ask her body count, you're a fucking bitch. Play your role, my G. You said it well. Play your role, man. Play your role. There's no point in asking said questions, bro. It doesn't. It amounts to nothing. It amounts, it amounts to, to less than nothing. It's just, you've just given her the biggest ick of mm. all time. Yeah. Oh, facts. You've given her the biggest facts. ick because you're a little boy. Yeah. Oh, you're a little boy. <laughs> oh, you're a little boy. You're oh. on her chest and you're looking up and you're like, babe, how many people have you slept with? Oh, oh you're a little boy. Oh, she's stroking your hair. <laughs> she's stroking your hair. She just contemplated your waves. You felt comfortable <laughs> enough to say, babe. <laughs> Like, I know it's a bit of a personal question, but how many people have you slept with? You're just looking up at her like You look up like that and she's like, oh, you little boy. <laughs> you're a little boy. Oh, fucking hell. Because you're not going to believe any answer she gives you. Exactly what you just said. Like, oh, all girls say three. So what do you want, big man? If she says three. What if it's three? What if it actually is three? Big you... man, just leave it. It's an irrelevant topic. Men that care about body count are such pussies. It's ridiculous. James said it best, bro. Sorry. It's outrageously. I was even watching, you know, when they do these YouTube dating shows and stuff. Yeah. And I always see the clips on TikTok and stuff like that as I'm okay. just scrolling through. Yeah, yeah, and there's yeah. one, I don't know what the show is, mm. but it's one mixed race yacht. She's like kind of peng uh -huh. and she goes through these guys. Yeah. And they have like, it's like a date, but they have like in depth discussions. And it's always like, what kind of girl are you into? What kind of guy are you into? All this mm. stuff. And then there's always one that pops up and it's always about body count. Mm. And one guy's going off like, if my girls fuck with 
X amount of guys, double digits. I'm not dealing with double digits, all this stuff. And I just hear it and I think, oh, bitch. You bitch. Mm -hmm. It's a problem. It's it's an irrelevant question, man. No one should be asking that kind of question. No, Bro, one. if a girl asks me that question, I'll walk out. <laughs> Don't, don't, need, don't, don't ask me, don't ask me silly questions. Billy questions. Silly bro. Billy. <laughs> ask me silly Billy questions. <laughs> like, what's the point what in asking the point? me the question? What is the point? Because whichever whichever number I give, it's affected us now. 100%. It's affected us now. 100%. Yeah. 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 Just know, bro, we're doing all these icks. Bro, asking our body count, trust me. That's red. Pussy fat. just went. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dried up. Fam? Dried up. Absorbed all the moisture in the air. Just went <laughs> back into her bloodstream. So was breath. Yeah. You just dried up the nun quicker than you could ever think of. Like that. <laughs> like Dehumidified the thing. <laughs> it's dead, fam. Oh. It's dead, fam. Oh, oh. I can't even imagine being a girl attracted to a guy and him have asked me, how many guys have I slept with? It's just... Yeah, yeah, let's move on. <laughs> I think we, we, we've, we've spoken about it already. You so, said you had a mm. question or a trash news or something? I've got both. Yeah, go for it. Well, this is a question slash statement. And when I say this, I want you to think about it in, as an, I want you to think about it as an adult, like through an adult's perspective, as opposed to what it really is. You Intriguing. Under I don't understand, yeah. but okay. No, you understand once I say it. All right, yeah? go, 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 so, go, go. This is more of a statement. I want you to... It's coming from an adult's perspective, right? Don't you think the game Simon Says is fucking creepy? <laughs> oh, no. It actually is. I was wow, it's I was, very like sub dom. Fam? I was thinking about it the other day. I don't, don't know why it came to my head, but I was just thinking about it the other day. And my mind started speculating. And here's what I thought. So, for those that don't know the premise of the game, Simon says, I'm pretty sure most of you do in the world. But for those that don't, it's a game you probably play like primary school, whatever. Um, it's an adult with a bunch of kids. Um, and they say, Simon says, jump. And then the kids jump. Simon says, laugh. The kids laugh. And if... I, as the adult, spin around and kids spin around. They're out the game because I didn't say Simon Says. We got it. Good. Great. Gang. Cool. So, obviously, a little three, four, five-year-old didn't create the game Simon Says. Yeah. There wasn't like a little group of year fives or five-year-olds or four-year-olds in the playground thinking, what's the next game we can play? Because I'm bored. I'm fucking bored. And they are Simon over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Simon says, I don't know. And then everyone else says, oh, I don't know. Yeah, Taking yeah. a piss out of him. And they were like, oh, gang. Let's play that's Simon the new game, says. Simon nah. says. That didn't happen. Nah, Simon rocked up. So obviously, in my head, how the game panned out, back a day, back a day when shit was illegal, but you could get away with it. There <laughs> oh was a God. Donny down the road called Simon and he had kids in his basement. I'll let you think of that what you will. He just had kids in his basement. Hey. Jesus, that was a bit further than I thought. My idea was just I don't just know how like, well he would have panned out. My idea was <laughs> just like, Simon was just a creepy Don that lived down the road. Probably had a garage completely separate to his yard. Round the back. Mm. And he just had like, he just like, I don't know, man. He had weird shit in his garage that kids thought was cool. And then he'd get all these kids together and then they'd be like, he'd be like, oh, why don't you guys like tickle each other? And they'd tickle each other. And then he'd be like, oh, let's just get our, let's just get our shirts off. And a couple of men were like, nah, big man, that's not happening. Like, mm. what are you on about? And he's like, all right, say less, say less, say less, say less. <laughs> say less, say less, too far, too far, too far. Let's play a little game. Mm. All right, cool. Yeah, what's the game? What's the game? All right, it's a really hard game. So if I say, take your tops off, don't do it. Mm. But if I say, Simon says, take your tops off, you have to do it. Mm. Whatever I say, Simon says, you have to do it. And we're like, all right, cool. Bet. Bet. That sounds easy. Cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Touch your nose. No, no you're out. <laughs> Simon says, touch your nose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, cool, cool. Simon says, brush your hair. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Simon says, touch the floor. Da, 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 da. 
Take your t-shirt off. Well played, well played. You don't. Uh, Someone says, "Get on your knees." Bam! It spiraled from there. Simon was rallying the troops. Bam! That's all I'm saying, bro. The game sounds. <sighs> I don't actually, like that you thought of that, bro. When you actually deep it, who's Simon? Who is Simon? Who's Simon? <laughs> Pedo's name as well. Who is Simon? I can't think of a Pedoia name. Pedoia. <laughs> I can't think of a Peter Weir name. <laughs> Why do you just say more pedophilic? Nah, bro, that's too graphic. A Peter Weir name. A more Peter Weir name. <laughs> yeah, man. Bro, who's Simon? Who is Simon? That's a real question. Who's Simon? Yeah, bro. Fair play. I'm I... not about that. I'm not about that. It makes you think, innit? It does make you think. There's a bear shit like that that makes you think. If I can make... Because universally, everyone just cracks on with the game. Yeah, bro. But how there's, did it pan there's out? There's bear weird shit like that. There's like fucking, um, what's it called? It's called, um, oh, like the like the story of the Pied Piper. Yeah. Just gathering you. Yeah. Fucking hell, I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All them ting there. I'm not about it, man. Um, let's move. I don't want to talk about that anymore. <laughs> I'm being serious. That's actually stressing me out. Bro, it's like crazy, something. isn't it? It's very crazy. It's I don't crazy. Like about that. Bro, I, I didn't, when I thought of it, I was like, yo. That's random. It is very random. So anyway, guys, let's try not to think too much about where children's games come from. <laughs> if we've learned anything from Squid Game, it's that when you're a child, we leave the child games. Yeah, yeah, we put them yeah, things yeah, to yeah, bed. Yeah, yeah. And it's just it's just that. Mm, it's just that. Mm, let's not mm. think too deeply about it because we all need sleep. We all need rest and we recuperation do. and we don't need sleepless nights. Uh, but anyway, guys, we're going to wrap it up there. Yeah, mum. Um... <clears throat> Meet us over on Thursday for some more juicy juice. Of course. Uh, we've got some fun topics to get through. Yeah, man. Uh, we love you guys and um, stay easy. Gang, gang. Love, love. Peace. <laughs>